Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ava, and if you are returning to my channel, welcome back. I'm glad to see you again. If you haven't seen from the title, today we are doing my jewelry collection. I wanted to do this video for so long just because I am a person who's obsessed with jewelry and first of all i work at a jewelry store so jewelry is just a super important part in my life and i also wanted to make this video if you guys have any questions of what jewelry i'm wearing or where it's from you can always come to this video and see where i get my jewelry from so i don't have too much but there is quite a few pieces so i'm gonna try to go as fast as i can I do keep them all in this jewelry box. I got it off of Etsy. It just says my name. And then they're just in here besides the pieces that I'm wearing. I think I am just gonna go through the ones that I'm wearing first. So I have on these cross lever backs and butterfly studs. I love to wear these together. And they are from James Avery. I actually made these myself because they don't make these anymore so I love them and then I just have this beautiful star necklace it's one of my favorites it's so pretty and then on my rings I wear this heart band on my thumb um, my boyfriend had got this for me for Christmas one year. And then I have this little pink heart ring. And then this is like my favorite ring just because it's so pretty. It's an amethyst ring, which is my birthstone. And it's my promise ring from my boyfriend. So this was super special to me i love this ring i also have another ring so this one's actually not james avery this one is from zales but i work at james avery so we're not allowed to wear jewelry that's not james avery so i have this butterfly ring that i wear on this finger when i go to work so i love that one and then on my right hand, I have this little heart arrow ring that I wear on my thumb. This was actually my first James Avery piece that I ever got in that was my own. Um, my boyfriend got it for me, so that was so special to me because growing up, I didn't even know what James Avery was. My family couldn't afford anything like that. So I would just wear like the little charm bracelets from Claire's and like the little rings from Claire's. And in high school, I would buy the rings from Forever 21 and I'd always have to take every ring bracelet off when I would wash my hands. And I would actually get made fun of in high school for having to do that. So the fact that my boyfriend was able to get me my first real silver ring was such a big gift for me. So then I have this turtle ring and I got it cause me and my boyfriend went to the beach and turtles are my favorite animal. So I actually got our initials engraved inside because we wrote our initials at the beach. I'll put a picture, it's so old, but yeah, this one means a lot to me. And then the last ring that I wear is this little garnet heart one. This one is also one of my favorites. It's so pretty. I get compliments on it all the time. And this is actually my boyfriend's birthstone, so that's why I wear it. I think it's cute because I have his birthstone and then I have my birthstone on the same finger. So, okay, now we're gonna get into my bracelets. So I recently got this one. This is probably my most recent piece. Um, I never take this one off. It's so pretty. It's the um, Connected Hearts charm bracelet from James Avery. I'm still trying to decide if I want to put charms on it, but I really just like the simplicity 
of just nothing on it so I'm really trying to decide and if I ever do decide to put charms on it they're gonna have to be like really important milestones and then this one this is probably my biggest one um it's a little too big for me I certainly got too big of a size for it yeah I call this one the mega bracelet because it's just so heavy and it has so much stuff on it it's hard to choose a favorite because I love them all and they all have such a different meaning but this one's just kind of like everything life there's so much on it so I'm just gonna kind of go through pretty fast but I have the goddess good charm and then on the back it says all the time and then I have this Christmas sweater charm and on the back it's engraved with love Mimi because my grandma actually got it for me for Christmas and then I have this little sea turtle bead this one's actually retired so you can't get it anymore and then this one's retired as well it's a little butterfly and it has two bunnies on it then I have this really pretty blue heart with like stars in it little snowflake I got for Christmas and then I have the Whataburger cup charm I love this charm me and my boyfriend always eat at Whataburger I literally have a Whataburger cup over there if you live in Texas, you know, if you don't, you probably won't understand. Compare Whataburger to how people like In-N-Out, that's like our In-N-Out. Also, ignore my bed, I'm washing my sheets right now, so it's kind of looking crazy. And then I have this charm, it says Jesus loves me, and then on the back, it says this I know. Then I have this admit one ticket. This one's also retired. I have that one because um, me and my boyfriend's first date was the movies. And then I have this little hummingbird glass. I have this one. It says soulmates and on the back it says mine and my boyfriend's name. This one's probably my favorite charm that I own. It's this little turtle and it has little flowers on it. I love this one. Also my favorite, it's this little chicken. And then I have the retired shopping bag, the James Avery shopping bag. I had to get it because I worked there, so. And I have this little heart that says forever, and on the back, it just says three years. I got it for my three-year anniversary. I have this little pumpkin girl, this cross lit butterfly, this enamel purse. I love this charm. And then this little heart. And if you can't tell, I love butterflies, so I have this little butterfly glass bead and then I just have this pink A this one's another one of my favorites this one's retired it's this enamel teapot it's so pretty it took me so long to find this one and when I finally did I knew that I had to buy it but this I just love this one so much and then I have the retired two hummingbirds and they're kissing I thought that one was so cute and I have the little cupcake, little blue butterfly, this s'more, I have this little mushroom, I have this you are loved charm, this one means a lot to me, and then I have this little heart glass bead, the little sloth, I love this one, it's so cute, and then I have this retired Easter egg, the let's rodeo when I went for my birthday, this Christmas tree, the Dr. Pepper. You guys know in like every one of my videos, I get Dr. Pepper, so you guys know that I needed this. Little heart, this little perfume bottle, the little croc. I wear crocs every day, so I also needed this one. And then a little strawberry. So that is everything on this bracelet. And then I only have one other charm bracelet. This is my very first one that I got. Um, like I said about the ring, I also had always wanted a real charm bracelet, but I never knew where to get one. And also they were just crazy expensive. So I just settled on the fact that I wasn't gonna get one. And then one day my boyfriend took me to James Avery. He's like, we're gonna pick you out a charm bracelet. And I was like, no freaking way. So yeah, this one's about, it's almost gonna be four years old. 
from when we started dating. I love this one. It has so much memories on it. I'm just gonna go quickly through it. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention the style of the bracelet is the double, the light double curb if you guys are interested in getting your own. And then this one is the connected hearts, like my gold one. I thought getting it in the gold would be super special because this was my very first one. So then I got it in gold. And anyway, I have the little donut. I have this little shell and it actually opens. And then I have this little Christmas tree and it's engraved with Love Mimi on the back. And they did this one wrong. They're supposed to be on the same little side, but I just have the purple bead and then this retired Easter egg. And I have this retired um, little bumblebee finial. And then I have my diploma charm. I have the retired crab the little seashell these two are from when i went to the beach two separate times and then i have this little heart this picture is so old this is like when me and my boyfriend had been dating for like four months so i just have us in the little heart i have this pink heart i have this love you block which is really special to me as well Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, every charm is super special to me, so if I keep repeating that, that's why. I have the little pearl, which was my first charm ever, and then the little turtle. This little carousel, and it actually spins. I'm gonna try to show y'all. And then I have the retired little gift box. This one's another one of my favorites. It's this little heart locket, but on the inside, it has a little ring. My boyfriend got this for me when he got me this ring as like a little like hint to the gift. And I have the retired ice cream cone. This one also means so much to me because me and my boyfriend met at a ice cream shop so he got that one for me. And I have the little hot cocoa, this retired butterfly, this little birthday cake, and it says to Ava love us. This one's from my mommy so I love that one. And then I have this little snowflake, this super cute ghost. And then the very last one, I have this pink bead and then the heart with 2020 on the back. It just has mine and my boyfriend's initials because that's the year we started dating. Okay, that is my bracelets. Now we're gonna get into the necklaces. So y'all already saw this one that I'm wearing. And then you guys have probably seen me wear this one. It's just this heart, it goes with my ring, and then I just like to layer it with this little beaded chain, just like a layered effect. And then I just love this collection so much. I also have the matching earrings. So I love these earrings. These are probably my favorite ones, but I love to pair them with my pearl earrings. So that's what they look like on, and that's what the whole set looks like together. And then I don't have many necklaces, but this is my last necklace. It's just this heart one. This one is retired. It used to have a bottom piece to it, but it actually fell off. Honestly, I like how it looks without the extra piece. I'll put a picture of what it normally looks like. But yeah, I love this one. This one is probably my most meaningful piece. Um, it was my grandma's who passed away and she had such a important impact in my life. She was literally my best friend. Yeah, this was hers. So there was literally a point in my life where I would never take this off like anywhere. I would not replace it with a different necklace. I would not take it off for anything. It was always on me. And the only reason that I wear different necklaces now is because it started damaging the pearls and I got so scared. So now I wear a few other necklaces just so this one doesn't get damaged. But yeah, this one is probably my favorite piece that I own. And I have these like blue hoops. These ones are pretty hard to style. Just because I don't wear a lot of blue, they're definitely super pretty. But again, like they're really hard to style. So that's what they look like. 
And then these are actually the last pair that I own. They are just these little tiny hoops and then this little cross stud. I love these. They're very simple if you're going for like a simple look. And then the very last piece that I have to show y'all is my anklet. I'll show y'all what it looks like on. I always wear it on my left ankle. So yeah, that was my whole jewelry collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what videos you'd like to see from me if you guys enjoyed this type of video. And I just want to say thank you for all of the recent support on my channel recently. It really means a lot to me that you guys are enjoying my content and wanting to subscribe. So leave a like and subscribe if you liked this video. And I do post every Friday and I'm posting shorts every Tuesday. I'm also starting to po post shorts a little bit more just cause it's summer. So I'm trying to get some fun summer content out there. So definitely subscribe if you'd like to see more of that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.